Okay then, so there's one more request I want to handle and that is a patch request to update an existing book in the database. So we might want to change the title or the author or something else. So to do that, let's come down here and this time we'll say app.patch. So we use a patch request to update individual uh, fields in a document. It could be one field or many fields at once, it really doesn't matter. And the endpoint is going to be forward slash books, forward slash the ID of whatever book we want to update. So that is a route parameter again. Okay, so when we get this request, we fire a function, takes in the request and response objects. And inside that function, the first thing that we want to do is get the updates. Now, when we make a patch request, the same as when we make a post request, we're going to be sending a body on the request. The new fields, essentially, and values that we want to add to the existing book. So what we're going to do down here is grab that and we're going to call it updates. So const updates and we set that equal to request.body. So that updates is going to be an object with different fields that we want to update. Now it doesn't have to be an entire book. If we want to update a book, then we don't have to pass through all of the fields to the updates. It could just be one or two fields like the author and the title if we wanted to or the rating or the pages as little or as many fields as we wanted. And that object is going to represent those updates. Okay, so then down here, we're going to do something very similar to this delete request. We're going to do this if check, first of all, to make sure that the object ID is valid. So I'm going to copy all of this right here, and I'm going to paste it down here below. So we do the same check, first of all, and we get the ID from the request parameters, this thing right here, and then inside that, we grab the books collection and then right here we don't want to delete one we want to update one like so and then we have two arguments inside this method the first one is basically how we're finding the book and that is based on the id property so this is the same right here but the second argument is now going to be another object and this is where we set the update so remember we talked earlier on in the course about this set keyword right here this operator in mongodb and we set that equal to an object with different key value pairs in here, different fields. And those fields will then be set on the document or rather updated on the document. Now we already have the object right here, updates. So that updates object is gonna look something like this. Like I said before, it might say something like title is going to be, you know, whatever new value this is. And then the rating is gonna be some kind of new value as well something like this. That's what this updates object is going to look like. And that is what we need to pass in here, right? So let's get rid of that dude. And we'll just pass in updates right here. So we're setting the updates. And that's going to update this document right here that we find with these updates. And any field that we don't pass into the updates, it's going to leave that field alone and only touch the ones that we want to update. Okay. All right, so this can stay the same where we have the then method firing a function with the result from MongoDB. And then we send a response with a status of 200 and then a JSON response, which is the result we get back from MongoDB. Down here, we catch any error, set the status to 500. And then right here, we'll say could not update the documents. And then down here, this error can be the same. This is if this right here doesn't pass, if the object ID is not valid. All right, so all working. Now let's try this out from Postman. All right then, so new tab. And this time it's going to be a patch request to update a document. The URL is localhost 3000 forward slash books, then forward slash whatever ID we want to update. So let's go to the get request to get all books and choose a book that we want to update. I'm just gonna grab the first one, The Way of Kings, and we're gonna change the pages to 350 instead of 400, and also the rating to eight, so two fields, right? So let's now go back to this request, cross that off, paste in this ID, and then we want to send a body. It's gonna be raw data, and it's gonna be JSON. Let's move this down so we can add some JSON data. So we said the first field we want to update is going to be the pages and we're going to change that to 350 and the second field we want to update is the rating and we're going to change that to eight now like i said you can update as little or as many fields inside this object right here as you want to and it's only going to touch those fields when we send the request eventually to mongodb from the server 
So let's give this a whirl. I'm going to send that request and then down here we get response and we can see acknowledged true. Modified count is one, meaning we updated one document and the matched count was one as well, meaning that the request for this document matched a document as well. So now we've done that, let's open up this one again to get all the books and let's see this one. So yeah, the rating is now eight and the pages is 350. Awesome, so that has worked. Cool, so now let's just save this request here and it's inside the bookstore already, save it and then we can use it again later on, awesome. So now we basically have all the different request types to our API. There's a couple more things I wanna do though. I wanna talk about indexes and pagination and to begin with, we'll talk about pagination in the next lesson.